The McElroy brothers are not experts, and their advice should never be followed. Travis insists he's a sexpert, but if there's a degree on his wall, I haven't seen it. Also, this show isn't for kids, which I mention only so the babies out there will know how cool they are for listening. What's up, you cool baby? Here come the McElroys. We've got jokes and bits. We're going to give advice and do funny skits. Laughter it is in store. Come inside and see. It's time to start. It's my brother, my brother and me. Hello, everybody, and welcome to My Brother, My Brother, and Me, an advice show for the modern era. I'm your oldest brother, Justin McElroy. I am Travis McElroy. Hey, this is uh, your youngest brother, Griffin McElroy, and let me get my axe out and <laughs> chunk, chunk, kick. <laughs> the doors to the movie theaters is open again all right and it's time er, er, let me get these cobwebs out i got a torch to blow up burn out these cobwebs like indiana jones another movie and that's what pop 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 soda 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 everybody pile on in because we're going back to the movie theaters because folks they're still making these things and we're gonna there and it's pretty much basically time to go ahead and get back get your a but, ticket for the new for the new space jam movie that is coming out we do have new details coming in like literally this hour uh hot off the presses about plot details on the new space jam movie which i don't know the title of but i am gonna call it space jam 2000 now listen i do very much want to hear about this but first i do want to say it's a bold move for like movie theaters to say like now we know that people have now poked through the veneer and they realize that they could sit at home and watch these movies it's all bs right but we're still gonna charge you movie like money to drive here yeah hey $800 $800 for a box of nerds. Yeah. Right. And watch a movie. In this big butter slick warehouse. Yes. In, that we call that we call the cinema. Well, it's going to be worth it when we all sit down to see Space Jam 2000 uh, because here's some plot details. Just I'm going to read this verbatim straight from uh, Entertainment Weekly. Uh, this is a weekly publication that covers everything that you need to know in, uh, in cinema and television, music, and, and I guess games. Oh, yes, the story, the paragraph starts. Oh. Playing a heightened version of himself, James, that's uh, LeBron, uh, LeBron James. I knew it. Uh, struggles to relate to Joe's Dom, who much more- Wait, who's what? Much more, uh, this, it, don't worry about it. Uh, I Did think you it's say son. Joe's Dom? That's that's the character who is LeBron James, uh, movie LeBron James' son. Movie son, is, got it, okay. He's much more interested in creating games than playing them. When Dom's tech skills draw the attention of a CGI humanoid named Al G. Rhythm, parentheses, Don Cheadle. Yes. The father-son duo gets sucked into the Warner 3000 Entertainment, quote, server verse with the AI kidnapping Dom in the hopes of stealing some of the king's followers. IRL, he has about 80 million on Instagram. Cheadle doesn't consider Al G a bad guy. What bad guy does? But rather an AI with a chip on his shoulder, says the MCU veteran. With a microchip on his shoulder. Come on, guys. It was right there. I know you're wondering. Will they play basketball with the Looney Tunes at some point in this film? Because so far, they've left me kind of dangling. I well, think it would be kind of bold if they didn't, honestly. Yes. If they that called it cool. like Space Jam 2, and then like at the very end, like just before credits, LeBron James like picked up a basketball and said, so do you guys want to play or what? And then credits roll. Right. I think that would be a power move. Well, don't worry. Next paragraph. This is being a Space Jam movie, a baseball, a baseball game, a basketball <laughs> no, game. No, it's a baseball settles, game. What's up? <laughs> a, a basketball game settles things once and for all to save his son and escape this virtual reality. James must round up the tunes, including a banished bugs. Okay. What? To defeat the formidable goon squad. He got caught he, embezzling. I guess so. Much of the early discussion on New Legacy. Oh, that's the name of the movie. Centered on the reintroduction of bugs, Lola Bunny, Daffy Duck, Tweety, and the rest of the tune squad. Uh, kids are like YouTube, something, something, something. Wait, are they playing Monstars or is it like different bad guys? It's the it's the Goon Squad. It's the Taliban. <laughs> I know. Whoa. I and was surprised one, too. Yeah, but it's, it's the Taliban it's, they're playing. Uh, uh, the in, in this one, they're playing the idea of classism. What? Whoa. Whoa. They're fighting uh, income inequality. I guess the Goon Squad is... Uh, is, is, is 
King King Kong Batman is in it because it's like all Warner now. Okay, anyway, we can't get too deep into that. What did Bugs do? What did why Bugs is Bugs do? Banish? And why is Don Cheadle Algae Rhythm an AI who kidnapped fucking LeBron James's son? Is Algae he- Rhythm a fi- like? Is that and like name supposed to be a play on words or something? Am I missing Algae- it? Algae. Algorithm. 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 I'm so glad we all got. We all, Woo, you can listen took, back hey, to the last ten seconds and hear us sort of figure it out. Always a same good time. pun when it takes three men in their uh, early thirties to uh, figure it out. <laughs> Enjoy Rounded the joke, down. kids. Yeah, um, kids love so, that. We love chasing the fucking algo. He I, can't. What did you, bugs do? What did bugs do? Considering. That he yeah. has decades and de- at least for half a century worth of evidence of doing violent crimes against yeah. other Looney Tunes. But we're that talking, wasn't it. We're talking about it through the lens of law and order. But is it possible Bugs, bugs get canceled? He got canceled. He's canceled done some things. I bet you don't have to go fucking... I know Disney can't put up any programming from before 1987 that doesn't need a script. That's, it's like, ooh, 1987 is quite liberal an estimate yeah. of the day. Shit was so bad. That's true, because even Aladdin has one. That's like mid-90s. Like, yeah. <laughs> Disney hey, is- Hey, Justin? Cr- listen, I'm sorry. They still, they still have Br'er Rabbit in the parks. It's why, oh, yeah. they're getting rid of that. They're getting they're, rid of yeah, updating yeah, Song yeah, of the South that. with a new, uh, I've heard that it's gonna be a Tiana theme, anyway. Yeah, Princess yeah, and yeah, the yeah, Frog, yes, we can't. Yeah, I'm not gonna it. go down that that particular rabbit hole. Yeah, it's what, Disney Plus should have a thing when you sign up where you have to check a box that's like, listen, I hope you're ready for the best in family entertainment. <laughs> also, can you keep a fucking secret? Because you're hey, gonna see some. Are you ready to see here. some shit? You're gonna get into some things on here that I'm not sure that you want. You're gonna feel comfortable <laughs> letting people see. Just, there's a box, and next to it just says, "By clicking this box, you admit that it was a different time. It was a different yeah. time." Also, on your credit card statement, it's just gonna say DP uh, <laughs> XX seventeen thirteen. So your you know, your wife or kids don't know that you subscribe to Disney Plus. Don't yeah. worry. We've hidden it. Comes it. In a it discreet says, box. It says um uh discreet solutions. <laughs> it's got, it's <laughs> like, it's like, it says in your credit card billing statement. It just says dildos. Don't no. worry. Uh guys, yeah. I'm a I'm about to have a, another son, a second son what? here in a few in a here in a few weeks. There's oh. gonna be another rowdy ch- boy child right around these, these parts. Why didn't you say something before that? Why did you want the ge- the reveal here? Yeah, but after why- we talked about Space Jam. Too, you're now, saying that that doesn't sense. sort of that doesn't what? make sense in the sort of like. I, no, I'm just saying. Why did we not? Why did you not tell us privately? Yeah, um, I knew that you guys wouldn't be cool about it. That's fair. Yeah. And I and so far I've, I've been. Proving I would have right. I would have done a TikTok about it and blood up your spot for sure. Yeah, and I don't. Well, want for that, me, but... it's just that like having two kids is kind of my thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's kind of, and people like when they talk about the Macro brothers and they're like, you know, Justin's the carpenter, Travis has two kids, and Griffin's kind of the bad boy. Yeah. Right, with one kid. Well, no, I'm about to have two. And that does that now double my opportunities for for Cyber Cheetle to come and take the take my boys and so then I Cyber have to Cheetle play basketball. Like, you won't miss one. You, have you won't to. miss one. Let me have one. Just, uh, let me get some selfish. of your... If Don Cheadle came to, if Cyber Cheadle, I mean, if Don Cheadle came to me, I'd be like, what's up, Don Cheadle? Yeah, let's yeah, fuck, yeah. let's get a good fucking hang going. But if it was Cyber Cheadle coming at me and he was like, I got one of your boys and to, if you want him back, you're going to have to give me your Twitter followers. It, that I want Cyber Cheadle to know preemptively that would not be a difficult choice for me. You may have, you may have them. I am not doing anything with them right now. You, you I, mean, I mean, you my mean Twitter, Twitter followers, okay. not my children. Yeah, no, okay. I, I would prefer to keep them around. But I've Cyber got Cheetle plans just for know. them. They're going to get bigger and do stuff to help around the house. I'm just going to I'm just going to sign off my Twitter account to the real Don, to the real Don Cheadle and have that be the sort of sunsetting of yeah. that particular sort of social media facet of my brand. And then that way, I think I will be able to get some sleep at night. So you're going to just kind of put your Twitter followers in escrow. With Don Cheadle for Cyber Cheadle like that. Yeah, to come get can... him when he's ready. The benefit would be, I mean, listen, there's no benefit to Cyber Cheadle kidnapping your child, of course. But right. I would say the upshot is, chances are now real Don Cheadle is going to show up to help you fight 
Cyber Cheeto, because like that's the only thing. Because here's the thing, Cyber Cheeto, sure, has a lot of cyber abilities, but you can't be the original Don Cheeto. He's crafty. He's going to find a way to I beat mean, Cyber Cheeto that's not, in a basketball game. He can't plug into the internet and like download math homework and stuff like that. He would be, and, and let's let's be honest, Cyber Cheeto would be a better father than I could could ever be with my human meat brain and body. And that's something well, that I just got to kind of live with. Can Cyber Cheeto love? Do they address that in the Entertainment Weekly article? Let me scroll through here and see if the Cyber Cheeto can love. Can you control F? Uh, can love? Love is real. Hmm. These are CGI to Looney Tunes, so that's one thing. Um, so it's going to uh, look weird. Does MJ show up in the movie? Mm, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Okay, uh, you know what? I I am decisive about the fact it was stupid for me to have any indecision. A hundred percent chance. Bill Murray too. Bill Murray Bill too. There's Murray no way. Is not well. Bill Murray is a hundred percent. They would want Bill Murray. Not like thirty eight percent chance. Bill Murray actually like wanders onto the set the day of filming his scenes. Mm. So what I, about I, I can't Wayne Knight? That. Wayne Knight. Wayne Knight, Wayne Knight would be a weird pull for the kids. I think I feel like they don't. He have, was a weird pull then. He was a weird pull yeah. then, but it was something for the grown ups. When the, you know you love Dennis Nedry. Who's the pull now? Do you think it's like a young Sheldon? You get a young Sheldon in there. The character young Sheldon. <laughs> yeah, why well, don't know the actor's name? Who all is owned by Warner Brothers? Warner Bros. IP. I'm gonna search Warner Bros. IP and just see like who we can Man, get in. Supernatural. There. Speaking we'll get, of, if I could make it supernatural in there. About young Sheldon, Sydney yeah. looked at me three nights ago. We're sitting watching, it's actually this Buckwild YouTube show called Armchair Detectives from the UK that's like a murder mystery TV game show that Laser uh, from the Double Clicks hooked, hooked me into. Buckwild. Anyway, we're watching it, and she looks over at me while I'm trying to calculate, you know, who done it. Yeah. Like, rude, for starters. She looks at me and she says, Did you hear that young Sheldon? Introduce a plot point that messed up Big Bang th Theory continuity. What? And I looked at her. <laughs> I looked at her, and I, I just, I had this thought: like, what did you do with my fucking wife? Because neither of us have ever watched either of these shows, and it yeah. is so insane that she yeah. would bring that to me like a dead bird that she caught out in the street, but also that she saw that headline as like. Tell me more. I don't care about either of these things. I'm, but I'm hooked about there's, this on this uh, this topic. There's layers about that, right? Because of course, there's the layers of like why why would she think you would care? Why did she care? Why did it register with her? But then the deeper level of who cares? Who cares? Like what? I'm not even saying that there aren't people out there who love Big Bang Theory. Of course there are. But who loves Big Bang Theory for the continuity? Who's who's somebody watching do. Big Bang Theory? Somebody does. Thinking, do. oh, There's always okay. somebody. I'm just going through the list. It is everybody all, all the Lego movie that whole that whole squad is in there? But let's. Ha I mean, we could tap in a little bit deeper, and we could go. Osmosis Jones shows up to fight the basketball Fuck, that'd players. Be good. Uh, some of the characters from Police Academy could do it. The Hangover guys, we love them, uh, and their barf and their dicks. Oh, the you know, Zach Galifianakis could fill the Wayne Knight role. Yes. Yeah, that could do it. Um, they have they have uh tap, tapped him. I think uh, Willy Wonka. Uh, there's a, there's a lot of options. But anyway, this should we start doing the show? Yeah. Um. But f I have something else I want to do first. And this is, is it. Really apologize like, to me because for I'm sorry for what? Well, just a lot of people pointed out that last episode the two of you were a little bit mean to yours truly about my wonderful goofs and about all oh, the that's interesting. Real, Did you feel that slam way? jam. Yeah, all the three pointers that I was just swishing left and right, nothing but net. And oh, that's so interesting. Were, yeah, and you guys are being a uh, little mean about it. I think you'll see in retrospect. Huh. So, in I'm retrospect, prepared. you mean when we go back and listen to that episode? Yeah, yeah I'm prepared to accept uh, your apology unconditionally. Okay, so, well, you'll get that. We'll get that off the air. Yeah. Well, well no, we're I just, do I it. feel like, oh, I feel like there are people out there who would just really like to see the brand oh, strengthened oh, a little shit. bit. Oh, shit. Hold up. We did it. America, he's back. 
We did it! We did it, Frazier, baby! He's coming back! We did it! This is our victory lap! Scramble Come on, come on! Yo, where did you find this? This fucking rips. Yeah, CJ Hughes on YouTube. Pomegranate honey sauce. Fraser theme remix. It's hot, right? Yeah, hell yeah. I think they should license this. Fraser is back. I'll turn this down a little bit. I should have asked CJ for permission, but that's go listen to it on YouTube right now, CJ Hughes. Um, so Fraser's back, baby. I got the press release right here. Uh, you know what? Let me tell you about it, and then, then we can talk about it deeper because I feel like this is really juicy stuff uh f- this is what the press this is the press release for it and th- from from the the cbs company for the viacom honchos frazier's back yeah. and he's more exactly the same than ever huh <laughs> huh why do i like that sorry it's kind of good Shit. is that good <laughs> it's Damn it's it. kind of good well okay do I like it or is that, am I just so confused by it that I don't know if I like it or not? Huh. Huh. Well, he's going to, they recently announced Kelsey Grammer will, will reprise. His, oh, thank God. His celebrated oh. role Whew. as Dr. Fraser Crane in the new original comedy series. They're calling it, get this, Fraser. <laughs> huh. Okay. I'm kind of frustrated by that. I feel like that is, that is the only bitter note of this particular symphony is like, come on. Just call it Crane. Can we? Crane is interesting. If you call it Crane, then I can put the box that's next to each other. Just go fill, complete the name. If is it not? I mean, are we married to that? Can we not punch it up a little bit and like go with like Fraser Fraser Unleashed or like? <laughs> oh, a game of Fraser. <laughs> Fraser two thousand. Fraser Fraser two thousand is good. Fraser twenty XX. Yeah. Too Fraser. fast. Too Fraserous. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Damn it. I didn't think you would land it, and then you kind of did accidentally. Having well, spent over 20 years of my creative life on the Paramount lot, both producing shows and performing in several. This is the dog talking, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is this is Frejo himself. Having spent over 20 years of my creative life on the Paramount lot, both producing shows and performing in several, I'd like to congratulate Paramount Plus on its entry into the streaming world. This quote, I Kicks he's ass, like, dude. he's so good because so he's like, so you know, he with his people and he's like, how can I definitely, definitely, definitely make it seem like I did not need this? <laughs> how can I definitely <laughs> make it seem like I've been doing lots of other things and do not need Frasier? <laughs> I don't need Frasier. <laughs> said Grant. Yeah. <laughs> Frazier needs me. Frazier needs me, said Grammar. <laughs> He's dying. He's dying. He's dying in the cultural memory. I have to save, I have to save my friend. Frazier called me and asked me to come do the show. And who am I to say no was, to an old friend? Frazier said he was vanishing like that picture of Marty McFly's family. <laughs> I said only I can save him in the culture. Apparently, they've been goofing about me on my brother, my brother, me, and none of their <laughs> listeners know what the fuck they're talking about. And rather than an increasing awareness of Frazier, it was actually decreasing awareness of Frazier somehow. And so Frazier and I have traded places inside of the giant dark <laughs> mirror that resides in my basement. And now I'm... Whoa! Oh, I fell down a fucking bed. Oh, man. I gleefully anticipate sharing the next chapter of the continuing journey of Dr. Frazier Crane. With Frazier himself. Frazier is one of the most acclaimed comedies in modern television history and truly defines premium storytelling, said David oh, yeah. Stop. Uh, primo, primo, primo shit. Stuff. President of CBS Studios. There has been a long call from fans for its return. And that call <laughs> was dimmed only by the fact that many of them died. <laughs> and then <laughs> it got a little quieter, but then it's streaming. So what can you do? Uh, you know, sometimes you would just kind of walk outside, especially if you lived in the big city. You'd walk outside and you would just hear people just start screaming, <laughs> Frazier! Frazier! Yeah. Uh, there has been a long call for fans to return. And that call is now answered. 
thanks to the amazing Kelsey Grammer, reprising his iconic role of Dr. Fraser Crane and a brilliant creative plan from Joe, Chris, and Kelsey. That's the team that's bringing this show. Sure. We yeah. can't wait to reveal its next chapter on Paramount+. Plus. I'm assuming the pitch meeting for that brilliant creative plan was they walked in and there was a chalkboard and somebody wrote Fraser, and then the other person walked up and put an S at the end. Turned it into yeah. a dollar <laughs> sign. <laughs> okay. Here's our pitch. Okay, okay. We don't have to spend too long on this, but I just want you guys, uh, e each of us is going to say one thing that you think that they are going to add to Frasier to make it new and quote unquote it's not, better. It's not, it's not, it's, the, it's, it's more Frasier than you ever. You're talking Travis. about how, why this show is going to present the most fucking pure joy per minute. Of any program, imagine the episode where they're like, Fraser, you have to join Twitter. Imagine the episode where where Ross. Okay, but is here's like, the thing: we're making we're making a TikTok to to promote your radio show. Oh, it's a TikTok. <laughs> you are missing one sad but very true fact. What's that? That is that John Mahoney, aka Martin Crane, passed away in 2018. Yeah, I am a little bit bummed about the the absolutely obligatory cemetery visit that will be like, or like, or what do you think it'll be like a, uh, a champagne toast at some point? Hey, for dad, right? Oh, there's oh, going to be yes. a picture on the mantle that they will occasionally reference. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good. I mean, here it sucks. It sucks shit that I can just go ahead and write this, but it's to dad, to dad, Niles. And he drinks it and he goes, and he goes, is this, is this man of Sheffitz? And then, and then the the audience like laughs and claps and claps and claps. Well, and they're, they're going to sit beer. It'll be beer as a cheers. Oh, and then, oh and that's then beer. Yeah. They for dad. They open up a paps and he like drinks it and it's like <laughs> spits oh, yeah. it all Spit into his faces. And then they yeah. start kissing it off. What? Yeah, yeah. Now the but, question is though, because the whole structure was old dad who seems to be down to earth regular person moves yeah. in with elitist classist right. uh, son and right. uh, hilarity ensues now is it just going to be elitist classist son God, everything about it is so good it's is it so good. oh is my it? god guys it's gonna send me are you kidding me <laughs> i'm gonna twitch it i think i think i'll twitch it <laughs> niles has gotta come back right no, he's got a no. Niles, David Hyde fucking... Pierce is too busy with the fucking uh, uh, Osmosis Jones TV show on the WB. He doesn't have the time for that. I'm I'm just saying I don't think it's as much a slam dunk as you might think that he will be back. He's got to come back. Then does Daphne come back? We're, does we're Roz come back? On some of these people, but I'm sure they have like usually if someone disappears like this, you just you can assume they're having like a fucking great stage career over in England. Not now, right? But no. like a great stage creator angle working with the fucking RSC or something. And like, yeah. oh yeah, they're actually so talented and he wanted to leave that behind. And then Uncle Paramount shows up with a huge check and they're like, sorry, Heather shit the bed. So now you guys are up. Let's yeah. see if America still wants this. Ugh, so happy. Do you think happen. Kelsey's going to give, do you think Tim Allen has been giving Kelsey Grammer some tips on like, here's how you cloak it, but but if he has, they're bad tips, Griffin. Tim, <laughs> that's true. I Tim, Tim Allen, Allen is not fucking cloaked sucks yet. at cloaking. <laughs> His cloak says, "I'm a piece of shit," and he waves it around like yeah. he's like he's a <laughs> like I don't know, like a fucking piece of shit magician whose reveal is, "I'm a piece of shit." I know we went. We really need to help people, but. Isn't it weird how Tim Allen, Tim Allen is allowed to keep sucking ass and, and <laughs> America refuses to freak out about it and he gets to keep his TV show. It's like America has this one weird deal with Tim Allen where it's like, you knew what I was when you picked me up. Like, I yeah. watch my show called Home Improvement where I was a sack of shit for 10 years. Like, yes, right. correct. You got me. This is None of this is surprising. It's, it's Which, like he made a deal with the devil, but instead of wishing for immortality, he wished for immortal fame and now he hates it and he's trying to get yeah. rid of it yeah. at every turn and it's he can't. Possible. It's yeah. It's, we all we all see him. Same we all, he signed we it. Spit, we spit on his feet. We spit on his face. We hate seeing him in the street. And then he's like, "But I'm, but I am still Buzz Lightyear." And you do have to respect that. And <laughs> That's it's like, about shit, right. He gets that to keep sucks. me Buzz Lightyear. Not anymore. Gets, Chris Evans is Buzz Lightyear now. Uh, that's true. 
They they ma- they did it. They did make an entirely new Buzz Lightyear show just so they could get rid of Tim Allen. They killed old Buzz Lightyear and squished him and used Fucking his God. melted plastic to make a young, cool Buzz Lightyear. But then they said, "Oh, but this breaks his famous clause of the devil. We're going to give him back a home improvement style game show." Co-starring Richard Korn. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, dude. What? Are you Look telling me Tim up. Allen got another show? Yeah, Tim Allen and Richard Korn have a new home. Like it's a uh, competition show. Uh, it is called cool assembly, Requ- assembly Required. Oh uh, yeah, Assembly they- Required. There it is. Uh, for history DIY. They wow. done made the damned Home Improvement fake they fake show. Yeah, fake they made show Tool Time. Real life. God, that's good. Everything's, hey, listen, everything's turning around. And I know it's been hard for a while. This has been a challenging time, but. It's, this is, but it's turning on a different axis. Yeah. That's what's it. It's like, it's not like things were getting very, very bad. And now they've U-turned to be good. No. It's like they've, it's like they've sort of, um, <laughs> they've done almost like a, a four leaf clover turn into a different, like yeah, now the it's turn, like, it's, it's where the direction has a new yaw. It's like, now, a, it's if like, I'm going to be so bold, it's like in the Rock of the Suburbs video where there's the knob that has like rock and suck and, yeah. and things got turned to suck. But now, instead of them being turned to rock, the knob is just sinking into the it console goes sideways. Yeah. Right? It's going. There's de- the the knob has depth now. It's like for a while everything was really bad and a little bit weird, and every and whoever's in control of the knob said, oh, "Okay, we get it. I'll fix it." And then they turned it so it's a lot of bad and a lot of weird. And it's like, well, now the weird is <laughs> yeah. it is kind of distracting from the bad for sure, but it is still bad. So pretty bad. But the weird is also very weird. Uh, Okay, this is not going to be one. Why of those. is everything returning to two thousand three? Why is ever? It's like you know what we need back tool time, not even home improvement. Fucking tool time and Fraser. <laughs> what if the Fraser reboot was him doing uh, an advice radio program? It would basically Fuck. be my brother, my brother, and me and Fraser. That would be so good. And now watch this show. It's just a twenty four hour live stream from Central Perk, a made up coffee shop. But now we've built it in real life, and you can watch security cameras while people drink coffee. If they made a real Central Perk in New York, it would be the most profitable business ever. Yeah, yeah. Why haven't they done that? Get you get it together. It's probably probably in Abu Dhabi or something. They Did you know the they made stuff. a whole park based off of it? And they called it Central Park. Okay. Um, <laughs> That was a good one. Travis, your intro privileges have been returned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Valentine's Day. This is not going to be one of those. This is going to be a regular episode with a long intro. <laughs> did you guys yeah. know that Kelsey Grammer did voice acting in one video game called Quest for the Code, which is an educational game about asthma, in which he played a bad guy named Mucus Aragon? Huh. That game had Cuba Gooding Jr. in it and Whoopi Fuck. Goldberg. And Funkmaster Flex, and Jeff Goldblum, and Shaquille O'Neal, and Glenn Close, and Gwyneth Paltrow, all in this, wow. great, this great game. Yeah. Now I know what I'm going to stream on Twitch tonight. Yeah. Um, damn it. Well, that actually, now I don't have time to do anything. We are going to go to a break. But after the break, after the, we go to the money zone, it will be just like a regular episode. It's not yeah, going to be normal. weird. I won't even do Munch Squad if you don't want me to. We just do questions, and it'll be nice and chill. Does that sound okay. good? Yeah, I love it. Let's go. I want to say a uh, uh, that if you haven't tried Sunbasket yet, you are sincerely missing out. I am loving sunbasket you know what i had last night it was so good tell like me roast chicken with some like chili spices and uh a cabbage slaw with pepitas in there all <sighs> stewed together for pepitas. a long time it's delicious i got it hey I got, justin i'm getting recipes from this service of things i've never even heard of uh, eggs in purgatory don't mind if I do, actually. That sounds what? so wild. No, I've heard too much about that. Getting dinner on the table quickly uh, uh, doesn't have to mean sacrificing nutrition. Some basket is cool because it's a meal delivery service, but you can get sort of recipes tailored to however you and your family like to eat. So it's not like a one size fits all thing. There's lots of different recipes you can choose from. It's fun too. There's usually like 20 recipes or something more like that. I haven't counted. And, and not only that, J-Man. Yeah. 
not only is it uh, a service that will send you ingredients, you make them yourself, they now have fresh and ready meals. Yeah. Where they come freshly prepared, ready to heat up in as little as six minutes. No, no BS. That's our plan for once the baby gets here is to have some of those uh, in our in our in our fridge ready to rock and roll. Yeah, they're just eight ninety nine, uh, and it includes meals like butter chicken with basmati rice pilaf, beef chili with cheddar and Greek yogurt, creamy mushroom penne with baby spinach and almonds. Ugh. It's Amazing. I'm getting so hungry. Right now, Sunbasket is offering $35 off your order when you go right now to sunbasket.com slash my brother and enter promo code my brother at checkout. That's sunbasket.com slash my brother and enter promo code my brother at checkout for $35 off your order. Sunbasket.com slash my brother and enter promo code my brother. Can I tell you guys about Quip? So it's a science fact that no one likes brushing their teeth. It's terrible. So. It's horrible. Yeah, I mean, you'll do it, right? Because you need to. But I don't know anybody that's like, oh, I can't wait before bed tonight. Mm, go and brush my teeth. It's not like a thing you look forward to. Until now. And let me tell you why. Because of Quip. Quip has revolutionized oral care for me. Wow. Because the toothbrush, it's easy to use. Mm -hmm. It's got that two minute timer where it pulses every 30 seconds to tell you to switch. So like, you know you're getting the right brushing time, but also it Bluetooth connects to your phone so that you can get rewards for it. That's great. Then there's the flossing thing, which is really cool. Make sure you only use the floss you need, you're not wasting floss, and you feel cool doing it, like I'm some kind of spaceman flossing your teeth. And now they've got gum that is good for your teeth. Quip has launched a new gum. Uh, it comes in a great dispenser that'll remind you of those one-click candies. Check it, you... check it, check it. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, you oh. like that? I Good like action. Fucking, an oral cowboy. Well, Good action. <laughs> Maybe not an oral cowboy. Okay. Quip can we gum... talk about can we talk about oral cowboy and let's do a quick just a quick meeting of the triumvirate. Do you think we got to take out where I said oral cowboy? No, I think maybe there's going to be some, there's gonna, there's gonna be some people. Right? Hey, girl, some people aren't going to love it, but you can't yeah. let them. One thing Cher has taught me with Twitter is like you can't let other people dim your shine. And yeah. one thing yeah. I've learned about Tim Allen is that cancel culture doesn't exist. So I think Apparently, you can say whatever you want. Get Tim. Can't get him. Oh, he's quietly. Quip gum can help prevent cavities and freshen breath when chewed tw for 20 minutes after eating. It's sugar-free. It has tooth-friendly xylitol with zero calories, and it's not a substitute for brushing and flossing, but it is a great support for your oral health. You pair it with that Quip electric toothbrush, refillable fl floss, you're good to go. And if you go to getquip.com slash mybrother right now, you can get a free plastic dispenser with any refill plan. That's a free dispenser at getquip.com slash mybrother, G-E-T-Q-U-I-P.com slash mybrother, Quip. The Good Habits Company. Hey, I'm Janet Varney, host of the JV Club podcast. Ah, oh, high school. Was it a time of adventure, romance, and discovery? Class of 95, we did it! Or a time of angst, disappointment, and confusion. We're all tied together by four years of trauma at this place, but enjoy adulthood, I guess. The truth is... It was both. So join me on the JV Club podcast where I invite some great friends like Kristen Bell, Angela Kinsey, Oscar Nunez, Neil Patrick Harris, and Keegan-Michael Key to talk about high school, the good, the bad, and everything in between. My teenage mood swings are getting harder to manage. The JV Club. Find it on Maximum Fun. All right, so now we can have actual... An actual yeah, this question. first actual question is so powerful, and I, I need it in our lives. This Valentine's Day, my partner and I were a bit adventurous in the bedroom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I ended up injuring my leg. I work oh. in retail, which requires a lot of physical labor, and this new injury uh, will stop me from doing <laughs> as I normally do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This has gotten too much. Are you, you're becoming like Wario. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> hurt myself having sex. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't stretch properly. <laughs> it's a sinjury. <laughs> <laughs> now you're Crib Keeper. <laughs> yeah. Crib Keeper and Wario are, are lovers. Very close. How do I explain this injury to my boss and co-workers without looking like a sex fiend? That's from Love Sick and Somerset. Why not? Not why? a sex fiend. No, why? No, okay, it's 2021. Why do? Why do? <laughs> why do? Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> why do? I think you know. <laughs> I'm just no saying. No, thank you. 
Oh, listen, I wouldn't do it, but I'm saying maybe you're the one to start the revolution to kind of destigmatize lovemaking. To destigmatize fucking workplace harassment. No one one how did you hurt your love? No, engaging in lovemaking with my partner. Hold on, I need to turn up my headphones so I can hear the dumb shit you're saying. Okay. Okay. You're wrong. Okay. Mm. You can't go to the work. Imagine, like, imagine you're a prisoner at work. You're a prisoner there. And so yes. it's, it's like, uh, like if fucking Rick hoves over from the car stereo department and he's like, I guess you're wondering about my cast. I mm-hmm. wasn't, but yeah, I can tell what's happening. Well, me and my old lady were, well, you know, the vertical tango. <laughs> and then I fucking fell off the bed. <laughs> well, I was well, I- <laughs> sleeping. Fucking, we do it. I have a bunk bed with uh, my uh, business partner, Kevin, has the lower bunk and I have the upper bunk. And me and my lady, we're doing a little bit of the forbidden lumbata, and I roll clean out of there. <laughs> my fucking leg. I had asked Kevin if I could use the bottom bunk that night, but it, it being Valentine's Kevin Day, it. he had already had it with his wife. And so, so we were do- we were making a real rump roast up there when I did slip <laughs> off my leg, got caught in the ladder, snapped got like caught there. <laughs> That's not even when it broke. I was hanging there for an hour saying, hey, Kevin, can you help me? He said, I'm almost done. But the thing is, Kevin is notoriously long in his lovemaking. Yeah, it took him like right. three hours. Yeah, he's been, did he's I been realize- watching a lot of YouTube videos from Sting. Uh, yeah, really right. slowed down the help. <laughs> now, now, you go ahead and ask me the question. I know you're dying to ask. I'm not dying to ask. It. Did I finish? Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I did. Kevin did not. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin did not finish. It's a problem with Kevin. But for me, dangling upside down from a ladder with my leg broken in four places, tibia and fibula. Yes, I did finish. For the first time ever. <laughs> so that's my thing. It's my thing, unfortunately, just my own burden to bear. What I need you to do is come over and Kathy Bates me in misery. And just right when I'm about to climb, Platonically. I to shatter my tibia and my fibula. <laughs> shatter them. Just shatter them. I don't have an old lady. I'm sorry I lied about that part. <laughs> it was self-pleasuring. <laughs> Roll right off the bed. Oh, I got a customer. <laughs> I need to not pull so hard. I got to be back. I got a customer. Damn it. This always happens just when things are getting good. You can't. I, that's not what I was pitching. I wasn't place. pitching volunteer. I'm saying if your boss is like, how did you hurt yourself? I think you do a first deflection. I'm like, uh, I don't really want to talk about it. And then yeah. they're going to push it because, of course, if you hear someone say, I don't really want to talk about it, they probably do. Nope. <laughs> well, that's what everyone assumes. Your point of view is so different from mine. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that it's true. I'm saying that that's what everybody assumes. They're going to say, like, oh, come on. And then you're going to say, I injured myself making love with my oh, partner on Valentine's this Day. This is where you've gone terribly fucking awry. You can't, you can't set a sexual harassment honeypot for people that lures them into asking innocent questions that that are followed by a sexual rejoinder. You simply Mm. can't. Okay, then let me pitch this. Not in this environment. Slightly different. Slightly different. They ask how you hurt your leg. You tell them you went to see the big game. You were sitting in the stands. Quarterback got injured. They asked you to step in because they knew that you used to play in college. You stepped in. You won the big game, but in the process, shattered your leg. They can read all about it on your blog. Okay, but then you do have to start a blog. Okay, that's the one catch. that, And I don't see any way of working around it, frankly. I don't know how to avoid the blog problem, but you do need to start a blog. And you're going to have to backdate a lot of posts so that your first post isn't you winning the big game. And you're going to have to keep up with it afterwards so it doesn't seem like you just wrote that for a lie. That is very important. Yeah. Um. I feel bad that it's taken us this long to say this, but uh, nice, dude. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude. Wait, is it not? Hold on. Is the nice because they engaged in lovemaking with their partner or because they injured themselves doing it? Uh, nice, dude. I, okay, no, I get. I, I guess, Griffin, I'm just confused. <laughs> we all been there. Nice. We've all Good. broken our leg. It's so sick that like somebody who's this cool listens to our show. Yeah, it's so sick. It's fucking rad. Huh. 
Um, hey, I have a Yahoo here, and this one, uh, this one was uh, sent in by uh, Graham Graham Roebuck. Thank you, Graham. It's Yahoo Answers user. They're anonymous, so I'll call them uh, Free Freezer. Just say free, it. Freezer ass. Yeah. Why don't break rooms have mechanical bowls? Thank you. I think I speak for all of us when I say every workplace needs a mechanical bowl in their break room. It would really liven up another otherwise dull day at work. Well, Please I guess it not, depends on how big. for me on this particular subject. You do not reflect my needs and interests. I mean, the ideal is always like a foosball table or an air hockey table. That's what you want in the break room. But of course, you're not going to put that in because then your employees are going to go over every break. Mechanical bull, I will say, the upside of this as now I'm a boss in this scenario, I know at most they're staying on that thing for like two minutes, right? It's not going to be like, I'll get back to work. I'm on a 20 minute run, boss. I just can't give up now. Like, that's not going to happen. I'm getting them back out there. Yeah. You know, the turnaround, it's quick. Have you ever even had a little bit of interest? Have you ever seen a mechanic? I've never, first of all, I've never been to a place that has a mechanical bowl in it. Really? But I've, yeah, but I've never you seen. You live in Texas. Right. Well, sorry. I've been lots of places with real bowls in it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but I don't think I've ever seen one and been like, that seems like a fun adventure for, for Griffin. That seems like a fun adventure for Griffin yes. to go on. It just feels like. You know, day to day, I'm a 37-year-old now, and as I look around in the world, even in my own home, I see things that could potentially destroy me, right? Yes. Even, even just stepping on flat ground wrong. Right. So the idea that then I would say, I'm going to get on that thing that is trying to bruise my gooch so bad that it so is literally bad. its only purpose. But, and again, a feature, not a bug. A, a feature. feature of the mechanical bull is, is gooch bruising. It's the design of the thing. It's like when they were doing R&D on it, they were like, do you think this is going to bruise the gooch too much? And they said, too much? We want more. We'll we want more. We'll we want this thing designed it. so that people can't stay on it right. for risk of permanently <laughs> injuring themselves. Yeah. Um, it, I don't know that there's a mechanical animal I would want to get to. Oh, yeah. I don't, if there was a mechanical man at a bar and he would give me a piggyback ride, that seems a little Oh, I'd take that. Up that onto sounds... my back, I'm Mr. Roboto. Oh, no. I'll walk you around just like a horsey. I love that. I would actually I would do thank that. Thank you. You're welcome. Please. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, there's a badass answer here. There's oh? a badass answer here. The only not badass thing about it is an anonymous user. So I'm going to call him Jim Allen. Jim Allen responded to this question and said, it's a liability issue. Some snowflake will end up cracking their head open and then oh. they'll sue. How about a meat cone station? A I what? think break rooms should have a meat cone station <laughs> and all of the fixings to whip up an awesome hero. Wow. Fuck yeah. How incredibly specific. Not like build your own sandwich station. A meat, meat cone. cone gyro station. I don't think, I don't know that meat cone is what the, that device no, is called. not at all. But I, it's, but this person's clearly, um, they fucking razzed us snowflakes though, huh? Yeah, they got us, got you know us. what I mean? Yeah. Because hey, real is, tough people, Non snowflakes, uh, pebbles, if you will. I'm just trying to think of something that's like opposite of a snowflake. Would ride on it and they'd fall off and crack their head open and stand up and be like, "It's cool." cool. They'd say, "I'm cool." All um, my fault, right? But then you know, I walk into the H and R Block break room and mm -hmm. I'm like, "Why is there a mechanical bull here?" And my boss is like, "Ride it, or you'll you'll be fired." Yeah, and yeah, I yeah. Ride it, and it immediately bucks me back into the wall that it is sort of immediately adjacent to or the and ceiling because it's not that high yes. it's a drop ceiling but still. right and i break every bone and then i'm if only i'd been more sort of outdoorsy I yeah guess. and you're just kind of a wiener at that point if you cry you know what i mean Fuck. Well, imagine if oh imagine if you were such like a little cry baby you had to go to the hospital because <laughs> of the bones you broke riding the mechanical bull in the h&r block break room can you right. imagine how would you ever live that down right Oh my god, I'd be so embarrassed. Yeah, there should just be a meat cone station in there. there but should then just you be know some vet but then you know some veg veg gonna be like 
Not uh-uh, it's gonna say, oh, uh-oh. you're right. Some snowflake. We should probably make it an impossible meat cone and then have maybe some gluten free bun options. Yeah, not right. for me. No I mean, way. I might eat it ironically. No way. I'm gonna get off that bowl. I'm gonna slice up some of that meat and I'm gonna eat it between two big Dr. Seuss it's, books. It's impossible meat cone. It is made of roast beef, but it's in non Euclidean <laughs> slices. <laughs> it's, a, it's a swirl of meat, a miasma of meat. I call it the meat asthma. When I cut it, more meat shows up on it. Yes. Damn it. And and it's more meat than there was before. So cut it sparingly, lest it take over our plane of existence. <laughs> Do, another question? Yes. Yeah. I just got a job at a Midwest gas station. I just got a job at a Midwest gas station. It sells great pizza. I'm trying to get into the blues. <laughs> yeah, it sounds you're like you're halfway there. I saw uh, a thing recently where it's like if you only sing every other line of the blues, it sounds like you're having a great day. It's uh, I got a great job, but na 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 na, and I love it so much. Like you just leave out the bad parts. It's a great day. Okay. All right. Um. I work in the kitchen, where every hour on the hour, we place individual pieces, slices in the warmer, and the problem is any pizza left over from literally just an hour ago goes straight into the garbage, which should be a crime. I am, of course, going through a phase that all 40-year-old white men go through where they become obsessed with the blues. That won't happen to me, will it, Justin? It it happens to us all. The blues doth come for us all, Travis. Oh, man. It happened to Goodman. It happened to Belush. It happened to Belush. It happened to Aykroyd. (laughs) I think it happened to Belush again. I think it probably came back around. It hit the third secret Belush. (laughs) Happens to all of us. Should I steal these sweet slices? from dying unfulfilled if so how considering and i'm not always alone in the kitchen the pizza rat can be seen and accessed from the lobby and there are cameras any insight will be great and that's from garbage pizza man huh Boys. i mean i'm sh- i'm sure there's lots of ways to get this pizza to hungry people that need it that you could i'm sure you could figure out some kind of some kind of pipeline pizza pipeline there um yeah but- I- i'm willing to bet Okay, I'm assuming here, I've had lots of jobs in my time, right? And across all of them, the, the uh, I would say the similar uh, scenario is that the boss directly above you, not the high up boss, but I mean whoever's like shift manager or whatever, mm-hmm. they barely care. Yeah. They care enough to have gotten a job above you, but not so much that they want to be in charge. And so I would suggest not asking it and saying, hey, I'm going to take this leftover pizza uh, and and give it to people who need it. And that person is going to say, okay. Okay, go for it. Whatever, man. Now, if you say, can I? They'll say, I don't think you can. I don't think you're supposed to. But if you say it as though you already know you're supposed to, they won't question it. Yeah, this isn't this isn't a tough one. I don't think anyone's gonna come at you. Well, I say that, but they did have sort of a recent situation. I can't remember where were they had armed guards protecting a dumpster that had food on it, so that people couldn't take that free food. Mm-hmm. Uh, by which I mean that was the food that was in the dumpster. So in this sort of late capitalist hell society that we all are sort of prisoners of, it is difficult to say what is silly and what isn't. Really, I'm saying that you could be the gas station pizza Robin Hood. If yeah. Robin Hood went up to carriages and said, hey, do you have any stuff you're about to are throw you done, away? Are you done with that? I'll take it and give it to people who fucking need it. Yeah. And people were like, this outlaw. <laughs> have him arrested. He's solving Sounds a like- problem for us and for them. This is a crime. I, um, this is always a, a tricky thing, right? Because- if you are giving the food away after a certain period of time, then as a customer of the place, buying that pizza becomes an immoral act. Interesting. Interesting. pret manger does this, right? pret uh donates their food. Is that how it's pronounced? How did... Nope. 
Don't say anything else, Travis. I, the next words I hear out of your lips better be how you thought that was pronounced. Well, I've only heard it said the out loud. The next words out the of your lips. The next words out of your mouth. Prêt à manger. Probably. Okay. I mean, yeah, probably your your way sounds fucking highfalutin. Okay. Let's, I've only heard it said out loud by James A. Castor, frankly. Here we're gonna check you. We're gonna check YouTube real I mean, quick. Here we go. No, no, no. Quiet, 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 quiet. Ooh, we are looking at how to pronounce the name of this international sandwich shop chain. Well, that's already a mouthful to say. This sandwich shop chain based in the United Kingdom, popularly referred to as simply Pret. So how would you go about pronouncing this say phrase it. that literally say comes it. from French meaning ready to eat? Ready, Pret, a uh, to eat, manger in French. Whoa, there he goes. This, Travis McElroy. à manger, but in English, it's normally referred to as prêt à manger. Prêt à manger. Prêt à manger from French. Prêt à manger. There I, you go. I mean, I mean, there it is. Travis nailed it. I've been learning French on Babbel. Thank you, Julian. I forget. forget what, that, was, that was fucking hypnotic. Yeah. I, if that had gone on for 20 minutes, this, that would have been... The best the rest episode of the show. Of the show. Yeah. yeah. A very good episode. I, well, um, what did you guys think of the latest My Brother, My Brother, Me? I'm glad they finally added that French brother. Yeah. It got a lot better. Uh, Mich the, Michel. The, the, the one brother that's like sonically appealing. Yeah. The one that uh, I actually don't mind hearing taught. Right. Yeah. Um, do we want another real quick Yahoo? Yeah. Can I just t tell you guys real quick? I don't, I don't want to make this into a munch squad. But can I tell you something? Oh that boy, it's a bunch of content. Justin yeah. can't finish because I you said mentioned. I wasn't going to do it. Yeah, but it's going to be. This is like timely, and I just wanted to share it real quick. Did mm -hmm. you hear what Bob? Did you hear what Mountain Dew's doing? <laughs> what Mountain Dew? Hey, it's, is, they're doing something on top of just their usual, already yeah. pretty wild thing. Here's what they doing. Ready? Um, mm -hmm. Mountain Dew is making a. Uh, uh, Mountain Dew is bringing Bob Ross back from the dead. What via deep fake to paint a YouTube uh, to uh, a YouTube video of him painting a Mountain Dew bottle for Fuck. creativity. Now, li but listen, if he has stayed alive, then he would have he, he would have exactly done this that. anyway. So it's like it doesn't. That, it's like not that big a deal. Justin, the sentence that you said sounds like um, a, a bot was fed a bunch of wild headlines. Yeah. From that, the yes. last ten years, yeah, and that's what it fucking button. spit out. Sure, the yeah. lost, it's a lost episode. Is how, how it's being presented. The lost episode will premiere on YouTube on March sixth, and will feature a long form video tutorial for Do Nation. Um, I declare myself president, by the way, of Do Nation, <laughs> uh -huh. uh, to tune in and pick up paintbrushes to create happy little droplets upon a Do inspired scenic canvas alongside the video tutorial. Fans will see this campaign come to life through 15 and second television, 30 second television commercials, cool. inspiring all to embrace their creativity and do it at their leisure. I'm inspired. Here's, I'm inspired to never die because this is what happened. The reality me. of this is a, a Mountain Dew, a, a PepsiCo executive had to approach a member of Bob Ross's family. Indeed. And say, We'd like to give you a couple sackfuls of money, right, to take the ghost of Bob Ross and use him to promote our extreme soft drink, Mountain Dew. It's, and it's, someone it's, in the family had to be like, "This is what Dad wants." Mm -hmm. <laughs> this, this sounds exactly like, "Oh, the old man loved to do the do." Now, I don't, I don't begrudge the family on this. By the way. The, Bob Ross passed away. If I pass away, I want my kids to jam me in any fucking Mountain Dew commercial yep. they can get their hands on. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. I, if my kid wants to do it now, I'm fine with right. that. If the I, mountain, deep if, fake if, me, kid. If, if the Mountain Dew cyber necromancers come to my house and they go to my two beautiful sons and they say, we do have to, unfortunately, we do have to generate a full 3D nude mesh of your father in order to get this yep. commercial across the finish line. Do it. I want, I want my two sons to say like, yes, make a, make a virtual nude version of my dead father so we can get that Mountain Dew money because I want what, a legacy to leave behind. What I'm pointing out is the executive that there had to be a meeting where someone said, we're doing this, right? Like we're going to approach them. We're going to ask them if we can use their dead, <laughs> their dead <laughs> ass father, their, their dead, dead ass, ass dude to sell Mountain Dew. We're doing it. We're really, cause we all laughed about it when we first said it. And then we kind of stopped laughing and then it started to seem like we were really going to do it. And I have to ask, are we really going to do this? 
Okay. And it's funny because Bob Ross probably doesn't have anything to do with the Mountain Dew brand because the, the Mountain Dew brand is so antithetical to the Bob Ross brand. And that's what makes it so funny on Bob Ross. Yeah. yeah. Do it to him. Is that, him. Is it, yeah, it's like a prank <laughs> on him. <It's laughs> what, like, if can the you fake, what if it ends with him like he's almost done painting and he just sighs deeply and his arm falls to his side and he's like, I can't do this. What the fuck is that? Really? This really, is- guys? I can't, and he just like punches the canvas and then walks off. If Cyber Bob Ross, Hollow Bob Ross, and Algae Rhythm <laughs> had to had to sort of battle for the future of Twitter, yeah, uh, this com- I'm not kidding. This conversation has made me want to lie down because yeah. it is it it Justin did say it's 2021 and this is this does feel peak 2021 in an, a very deeply animatrix way that yeah. really makes me want to just sort of lay down on the ground and just think for a to while. To recap, we some happy little droplets. Okay. Sometimes in life you get a little thirsty, and when a refreshing opportunity nope. comes along, no, nope. you can just. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this tastes like piss. <laughs> the future tastes like piss. I'm glad I'm dead. Just to recap, uh, in this episode, Frazier's back. Yeah. Uh, Bugs Tim the Toolman Taylor. Tim's Tim is fine. Bugs is banished. Bugs is out. Isn't Space Jam's back. Yeah. Bob Ross is back. What year <sighs> is it? Yeah. What year is it? What episode is it? Well, it was. 551 but that is uh in the pa- in the past in the rear view we've experienced it we've done it we've lived it together we've made it through together but time is a flat circle so maybe 100 episodes from now it will be episode 551 again hey mm. thank you so much for listening we really appreciate you you're the best yeah that yeah. is true. Uh I want to tell you about some exciting things uh before we wrap up this is a new theme song isn't out yet is it no i think no. Be next week it's very good, y'all. It's very good, oh. though. Good. Um, we have partnered with I Need Diverse Games. I Need Diverse Games is an organization uh, that works to improve inclusivity in gaming, not just like in streamers and players, but in the industry side as well. So we've partnered with them uh, to do a, a series of, of grants uh, for uh, equipment to help people improve or start a podcast. Uh, the, the the grants are designed for people of color who are looking to improve their equipment or start a new podcast. Um, and you can check that out at, over at I Need Diverse Games. Uh, and submit your application for that. We're really excited. Tanya over there does great work and they do great work. So even if you're not interested in signing up for the grant, if that sounds like a cool organization, you should go over there and show them a little support. Um, I, I uh, Speaking of gaming, I've started doing a Twitch and it's a whole lot of fun. And the community that is building over there is very nice. And I'm really enjoying show me your it. For, do you show me your Fortnite dance? I'm Fortniteing oh, right good. now. That's yeah. real good, Trav. Uh, you can find good. me at twitch.tv slash the Travis McRoy. Uh, thanks to everybody who joined us for the virtual Taz live show on Friday. Uh, that video, by the way, is available until the 19th. Uh, you can find that at live.themacroy.family. We got our merch up over in our merch store, macroymerch.com. Our pin of the month, it's sausage to me, uh, is benefiting Feeding Texas, which is the largest hunger relief organization in Texas. Currently, their network is supporting warming shelters for the unhoused, as well as those without power and water, in addition to replacing perished food and feeding Texans in need. We've also got a really great empty bowl pin. we got a 20 Big Dog Run pin. Go check those out. You can pre-order the Adventure Zone Crystal Kingdom. Uh, That's our our new graphic novel coming out July 13th, 2021. You can pre-order that over at theadventurezonecomic.com. That's it. it. We're not going to take up anything else. Travis really banged it all out there. So I'm going to do the final Yahoo. It was sent in by Fedra. Thank you. It's a Yahoo Answers user. Just question mark. They ask, is there a way to stop the apples on my tree from growing if I want to keep the tree and I'm inundated by the large apple amount? (laughs) (laughs) My name is Justin McElroy. I'm Travis McElroy. I'm Griffin McElroy. This has been my brother, my brother, me. Kiss your dad. School. Wear on the lips. Okay, that was the show. Hope you had some fun. Talked for an hour, and now our job is done. Go back into the world, face the day ahead. Please don't tell our grandparents all the cuss words we said. Maximumfun.org. Comedy and culture. Artist owned. Audience supported.